All right, and welcome back. In this video, we will talk more about the main menu that we need to create for our ePortfolio. And we just got finished creating all of the pages that we want to include in our ePortfolio, but we need to add them to a menu. If we take a look at our site as it is so far, we have our home page that it lands on. You might not notice it right away, but there is a what's called a hamburger menu over here in the top right um, hand side of the page. And if I click it, I get this dropout menu and I, I get a bunch of basically what looks like gibberish to me, like recent posts and comments and archives. I, you know, I don't really know what all this is and I don't really want to have all of this in my ePortfolio. We will talk towards the end here about cleaning up our site and getting rid of a lot of this stuff. But what I do want to have in a menu is I want to have all of my pages listed, obviously, and I'm not seeing that. So let's uh, go back into our friend, the dashboard in WordPress, and we come over here to the left-hand side, we see in the menu an appearance, and then we see menus. So that sounds like probably where, where we want to go and what we want to take a look at. So if we if we click on that, we come to this page, Edit Menus, and we do not have a menu created yet apart from whatever this default, you know, hamburger thing is up there. Uh, let's not worry about that. Let's make a menu. And when you are creating your menu, you need to give it a menu name, and I would recommend you call it something like Main Menu. And if you click on the Create Menu button, we see the screen changes up a little bit and we get Menu Structure, Menu Settings, and Menu Structure is empty because you have to place in the pages that you've created into your menu structure. So if we take a look towards the left of the screen, we see this box here named Pages. and as you would guess, it has all of the pages that you created. It has your most recent ones, which, you know, you probably every one that you just created will be in here. But if not, then there's the view all, the view all tab. So I know that I want the pages in my menu structure. That's why I created the pages, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select them home about me. And what is really tricky here is you notice that there's two homes. That always happens. It's a default. It has, has to uh, do with being related to that default page that was created by WordPress. I'm going to make an educated guess that the very first one that's listed is the home page that I created myself. If not, no worries, we can always come back and we can fix it. But anyways, select all of the pages that you've created and you're gonna click Add to Menu. And what that does is it moves everything from the left-hand box. It moves them into your menu structure. And it moves them into as these like rectangular representations of your pages. What's really nice about this menu structure page is I can click and drag to rearrange how my menu is going to look. And typically what happens is a top to bottom kind of ordering correlates to a left to right kind of reading on your website. So you would probably want to have, you know, intuitively you're going to have your home up top because that's the page that everyone lists. And then, you know, you would probably have like the about me and then I would have my work. And I would probably have my resume page be the very last page or maybe a contact me page if, if I had created that. And we have a few options here at the bottom. Uh, one of them says automatically add new top level pages to this menu. And what that means is as long as that is selected, every time that I go into the dashboard and create a new page, it is automatically going to be added to this menu structure. So for the most part, I think you could probably make the, make the guess that that's a good choice. You know, if I have to go in and create a new page in the future, I'm probably going to want to have it in my menu. Let's go ahead and click it just to, you know, not have to worry about that again. And the other option that's really important, like really, really important here is, we need to tell WordPress that this is a primary menu. This is the main 
menu organization that we want to have and that we want to display to the viewer. So it's important to click on primary menu. And I'm going to go ahead and click save menu. And that should, you know, it'll think for a second and then it should say congratulations or something like that. You know, you've successfully made your first menu. Um, well, there we go. Main menu has been updated. It doesn't say success, but you know, you get, you get the visual cue that the menu has been created. And so now if I go back into my site and refresh it so that I can see what's new, it doesn't look like anything's, you know, really changed here, but hopefully when we come down to this hamburger menu, yay, we see we have home, we have about me, we have photography, we have videos, we have all of those pages that we created and we have them in here, um, we've added them. So that's, that's a good sign. What I will say though is this kind of drop down hamburger menu that you have to go up here to the top right to, to view, it's, it's something that's becoming, these, these hamburger menus are becoming more popular in, in, in web development, but I would say that that's not what you typically expect on, a, on an e-portfolio. Just to be safe, we should probably find a theme that is going to have the main menu up at the top like we would typically expect. So luckily, like we talked about in the video with themes, it's as easy as going into your dashboard or the main administrative page and, and going to themes. And so I'm, I'm going to see if I can quickly try to find a theme that has a more traditional left to right kind of menu. Let's see what happens if we, if we activate this uh, Serrano. And I will come back into my site and refresh it. And hey, that's exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a big, you know, bold menu that's very easily seen. And it's up here at the top. So this is looking like a pretty good theme to work with. Um, we have uh, a lot of, you know, what I, what I call just like visual junk um, over here. We'll, we'll clean all that up um, towards the end. Let's not worry about that. What's important is we have a, a menu that's that's um, that's right up there on top that's that's in, that's very noticeable. And I really think that that's something that we should try to have. But I don't like the organization of it. And you might also be wondering about when we talked about the sitemap, you had pages that were categories and then you had pages below them. And how would that look and how would that work here in WordPress? Well, we haven't kind of set up a sub menu item yet. So let's do that um, at the same time uh, as reorganizing the menu order here. So. Just really quickly, I'm going to go into my dashboard, I'm going to go into pages, I'm going to create a new page, and I'm going to call it student work. And I'm going to say something like, thanks for taking a look at my work, please visit the sub menu items to see different types of work and the reason why I'm saying that might make more sense here in a minute but I'm going to publish it and wait for it to do its thing then I'm going to come back and, and I'm going, going to go into my appearance menus and if you notice student work was automatically added right and and why was that that was because we we checked this box that said automatically add new top level pages. So that does exactly what we expected it to do. But what I am going to do is I'm going to rearrange because I wanted, I want home to be top. I want about me to be the very next page. Then I want student work. And what I can do is with these subcategories of work, photography, videos, writing, what I can do is I can click them and drag them out to the right a little bit. And you see what happens is they become indented a little bit underneath student work. And what that is saying is that is saying that these three items are a sub item or a sub category, a sub page of the uh, page above it. In this case, student work and resume is our, all the way over to the left. So that means it's, it's a main item too. So let's save the menu and let's show you visually 
what that what that means when you're looking at the menu. So I'm going to come back over into my site and I'm going to refresh it and well we still got something that's a little awkward where about me and home isn't correct so I'm not quite sure but okay so it's not doing what I'm expecting it to do so something oh well here's what happened okay so what happened is is I failed to click on primary menu um, again it seems like that every time you come in add new pages or make any changes you have to reselect primary menu save your menu And now if I come back in and refresh my page, there it is. That's exactly what I was hoping. Home, about me, student work, resume. And we see that when I hover over student work, I get these drop-down items. So we get this downward carrot as a kind of visual cue that there are sub-items to this. And so student work, even though there are sub-items to it, student work is still an active page, which is why I said this you know, I, I explicitly told the viewer, like, thanks for, you know, checking out my work, but make sure that you click on the sub items to visit or to see that particular type of work. So video, photography, etc., writing. So that is how you create a menu. Again, it's from your dashboard appearance menu. You add your pages in, you organize it. This is how you uh, go in and create your menu, set it up the way that you want it to be. And as you would expect, uh, you can always come in to menu and make any adjustments that you see fit. So that is the menu structure in WordPress. And in the next video, let's, uh, let's begin actually talking about adding content. So how do I actually begin adding photo photography, uh, photos, uh, videos, etc. into my WordPress portfolio? We'll see you then.